Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to Amy Geese Let's Talk, Elise's Kitchen. Yeah, I'm a little bummed out today, guys. I uh, found out um, Netflix has canceled uh, Cowboy Bebop uh, three weeks after it came out. It's um, I I'm disappointed, personally. I did check some of the uh, Rotten Tomato scores, uh, Meta, Metacritic, and IMDb, and... You know, I think IMDb had the best uh, rating for him, but I think there was a lot of people, as best I can tell, a lot of people not happy that it didn't stick completely to um, the anime, which I have seen and I quite frankly love. Uh, you know, the first episode was literally almost shot for shot from the first episode in the cartoon. I know there were people complaining about uh, Faye, Look, I'm going to be honest with you, folks. You weren't going to get Faye. You weren't going to get the anime version of Faye like that. It just it wasn't going to happen. Uh, but I thought the actress did a great job. Um, the actor played Jet Black. Man, whew, what a solid guy. Actually, he was in my favorite episode where him and his old partner uh, had that little noir thing going there. And I was like, it's pretty good. But um, John Chu, I mean really did, and as, as I said before, did a really great job of Spike Spiegel. I thought there was a lot of fun in the in the show. Um, I don't know, you know, Netflix doesn't put out their ratings. I can imagine the show probably was costly uh, for the special effects they had to do. Um, but they really did a lot of nice effects, a lot of practical, a lot of, uh, you know, their CGI was good. The uh, landscapes, very beautiful. I thought the chemistry between the three of them, between, you know, Spike, Jet, and um, Faye, I really thought they did a great job. So, I'm, I'm disappointed. I was kind of hoping for a season two. I would like to see it, especially because they did exactly what a lot of us thought. Ed shows up at the end, and that's too bad. Y'all missing out on a treat because I'd love to see what she would have done uh, in season two. Yeah, maybe there's a possibility. I mean, we see Netflix change their mind before on certain things, or there's been enough, you know, fan backlash that, you know, maybe we get a movie, come like they did with that. Oh, oh, what was that? There's there's been a couple of them that have been canceled. They come back with like a, a little movie. Um, I can't remember the name of um, of it off the top of my head. So I tried to watch it, and I really couldn't get the damn show. But, um, you know, like I said, I would like to hope that there'd be another shot. Uh, but if not, well, I guess so be it. I can't always get what we want. On the plus side, Witcher Season 2 is coming out next week, and then New Year's Eve... Cobra Kai, season four, so eh, not a bad way to end out the year. Uh, what did you guys think? Those of you who watched um, watched the show, did you like it? If you watched it and you had seen the anime, did you like it for what it was? you think they made too many changes or anything like that? I'd like to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear your response on the things, why you think the show wasn't able to stick around. Because I'll be honest, I, I really I really enjoyed it. It's been a while since I've had, uh, you know, I mean, we have not had luck with, uh, I mean, Hollywood does about as well with Japanimation as they do with video game movie, with video games they turn into movies, which has generally not been a great track record. To me, this was pretty much one of the, the best adaption I've seen of an anime to real life or live action. And I'm, I'm sad to see it go. But I will leave it at that. All right, folks. That is my thoughts on the cancellation of Cowboy Bebop 2021 from Netflix in under six minutes.